Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is Grip and Rip Sports Cards back here with another video for you guys today. And in this video, we're going to be discussing 2023 Tops Chrome Update and everything we know so far regarding this release. Because that is the right, guys. This set comes out this Wednesday. 72 hours from now, we will be opening, hopefully, this product. Of course, always subject to change, but I do think it is coming out on Wednesday. So there's that. So before we get into it, thank you so much for joining me on this video. Can we get a minimum of 100 likes on today's video? As that's the best way you can help me grow this channel is by hitting that like button. And speaking of growing the channel, we are doing a giveaway. We are giving away hobby packs of Series 2. All you got to do to enter is be subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications for all the content on the channel, and last but certainly not least, leave a comment in the comment section on who your all-star representatives were on your favorite team, and I'll pick the winner once we hit 7,000 subscribers, which is shouldn't be that far from now. We're, we're, we're really, really, really close, um, so we should be able to do that. Um, the next like, like maybe two weeks so let's get that done that'd be awesome so yeah seven thousand subscribers so there's that so and of course christmas merch is available um link in the description below we have brand new christmas tees out right now um we got some santa claus designs we have some baseball designs with a santa hat a gingerbread you name it um we're probably gonna be doing a black friday sale i'd like to have, uh, imagine we will um but using a promo code like g like g n r or something like that for grip and rip or something like that you know something uh standard but yeah there's that if you want them go get them uh, i love the santa claus shirt if you watch my top 10 archives uh video um i i wear the shirt um in in that video and you can see it for yourself very good quality very nice material great design hopefully you guys enjoy them so let's get into it so before i get into the real meat and potatoes in this video i want to show or not show but talk about some retail sports card stuff, um, because again, you know, I have been theorizing, and this theory is <laughs> very much true. I think, I think my vendor at my local Walmart is backdooring product. Um, so I went to a Walmart about twenty minutes away from my home Walmart uh, this past Wednesday, and there were like twenty or thirty boxes of holidays. So of course, you guys know I have been trying to find holiday boxes. Um, to open December. So we're going to do a, a pack a day of holiday in December for Christmas, right? So 30 packs for 31 days. We can't open up. I mean, we can. I guess we really wanted to do 31, but I don't really want to buy another box to open just one pack and then just do what with the other packs, like open them sporadically or something. I don't know. Maybe we will. I don't know. I do. I do think I am going to buy more holiday though. I do have three boxes. So that's, you know, that's good. Um, either way, you know, today was Saturday. I usually go on my toy hunts and my card hunts on, on Saturdays. And I go to Ohio. Typically, Ohio, this place I go to, is typically the most, uh, like, uh, trafficked area, like, in terms of popularity. And I go to the Walmart, not expecting to find anything. And there were 30 boxes of holiday lined up there, like they're underneath the Christmas tree. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I'm telling you. My Walmart is actually getting backdoor product. I am telling you right now, I have just seen enough. So if you guys know how I can contact the uh, stocking company who, who Walmart uh, employs to stock their cards, let me know. If someone had this issue before or something like that, please let me know because I am 110% convinced and by the way, a restock did happen in my local Walmart, and it's still no holidays. So yeah, that's how I know something's happening. I let it go one week. I was like, okay, maybe next week. Yeah, and now it's been three weeks. Yeah, we still haven't got it. So yeah, that tells me that uh, it's backdoor. So if you guys know how I can contact their stocking service, uh, their vending service, or whatever you want to call it, uh, let me know, because I'm gladly going to do it, and I, I should, because I am sick of it. The fact that I have to go somewhere else um, rather than a couple minutes away to get some cards and product I need to buy for the YouTube channel is pathetic, uh, to say the least. So just wanted to talk about that for a minute before we get into the real meat and potatoes of the video. So either way, let's get into the real meat and potatoes of the video. And that is Chrome Update. That is right, guys. Today is Sunday. We are three days away from Chrome Update. Um, you know, I'm pretty excited for the set. You know, I mean, here's the thing, right? 
I'm excited for reasons why you guys may not be excited because I have not opened a single box of regular update yet. Um, why? Because Top screwed over a lot of collectors. Uh, basically, of course, you guys know they took product out of the boxes and didn't tell people about it. And from that day, and I was like, okay, I am not going to support this. I can't support this because I don't, I don't believe in it, right? I just don't believe in it. So I never bought update. I never bought update. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, okay, I know, you know, Chrome Update is going to be doing real hobby boxes this year. So I was like, okay, let me just wait for Chrome Update and then I'll open my real update. Now, of course, that week is upon us, right? Wednesday is the official release date of Chrome Update. And I think we are in the clear with delays because Steel City um, just posted on their Facebook today. Um, they said, look what we got in stock, and they're having they ho they're holding the boxes in their hands. So that tells me that yes, it is coming out on Wednesday. So we don't we don't have to worry about any sort of last minute delay uh, for now. Now that could always happen, still with like a recall or something like that. But it looks like that is the official release date. So that's pretty cool. But in this video, we're gonna talk about what you need to know. Uh, kind of a pre watch it for you buy. Um, and maybe tomorrow we'll talk about the formats on what format you should buy. I think that might be the best video for tomorrow, so stay tuned to that. But either way, we're going to talk about what you need to know for this set. Because, of course, as I alluded to just a few short minutes ago, there are some drastic changes. There are some pretty drastic changes to this set and how this set is sold. So, of course, in years past, it's only been a Target exclusive, a Monster Box format, and I believe fat packs. I think they did like a retail value packs. I don't even know what they call them no more. Back when I was a kid, they called them fat packs. I think they changed the name of them now. I don't even know what they're called. I think maybe value packs or something like that. But either way, um, there's typically, for the longest time, only two formats. And the only way you can get it is by ordering it online on Target or going to Target in the store and buying it. And some hobby stores, I don't know how, but some hobby stores did get the product um, for how, I don't know, but we'll leave it at that. But either way, so let's go to last year. So last year was the first year we saw a little bit of a change. A little bit of a change regarding the format of this set. And, you know, it was a bad change. It was a bad change because basically top slide. So what happened was last year they announced quote-unquote hobby boxes for this product. Everyone thought, including myself that, okay, autographs and everything like that are going to be in the set, right? Nope, not the case at all. All it was was two monster boxes combined into one, which essentially you could just go buy two monster boxes at Target and get the same exact thing if you bought a real quote-unquote hobby box from Tops. So, yeah, they didn't actually say that. That's the funny thing. They never actually, for one, put them up for pre-order. They never were available for pre-order on the top site. They were only available to order the day of the release, right? And people were excited. I remember myself included. I was super excited to go to the hobby store that day because I thought, okay, finally with Chrome, with update last year being as great as it was, I was like, oh my gosh, we're going to get like a top 10 set of the modern era. Like, but yeah, <laughs> no, that unfortunately didn't happen because of course they lied and no one knew about it, and it was kind of a, spor uh, a sporadic thing. And of course, not to mention, which I'm not even going to get into this, I don't even need to, the terrible quality control. Of course, Tops had a major, major, major controversy last year um, surrounding um, this, basically. So, quality control, print lines, dimples on the cards, off-centering, left to right, top to bottom was atrocious across the board. And what happened was it led to people getting refunds at Target and in hobby stores. They sent money back to hobby stores to give back to people who bought from them. Um, but it was a convoluted system. I don't know exactly how it worked because, you know, some hobby stores like my own don't actually, like, give you receipts for your, like, orders and purchases. So I'm not entirely sure how that whole system worked. But either way, now... Let's skip forward to now. January, or not January, November 12th, 2023. 
we have official real hobby boxes coming out this Wednesday. And for the record, I will say this myself, still no shipping notification. I still have not gotten a shipping label or a notification about anything, whether or not my order has shipped yet from Tops.com. So if you guys ordered a box on Tops.com, let me know in the comments section. Did you guys get an order confirmation yet or anything like that? That your order is actually shipping? You know, Tops in July, you know, when Chrome was out, um, you know, they're like, okay, yeah, your order is gonna your your order is gonna be there on release day. And of course, mine was not, and so was, so was a lot of other people's, which led to another controversy, which we're not gonna talk about that yet. Now, if that happens again, then yeah, we're gonna talk about it. But the funny thing is. With this, when the pre-orders went live for for a Chrome update, they did not in any way, shape, or form, and I made sure to keep note of this, they did not in any way, shape, or form guarantee a product delivery on release day. So take that with what you will. Who knows? But again, shouldn't be the case. Top should know what they're doing, but clearly they do not. But let's talk about the set itself. Let's talk about the update chrome set itself unfortunately i don't think it's going to be perceived that well you know update out right now like i said and i'll tell you one thing i'll tell you this right now and we might go into a deep dive in this sooner down the line uh, maybe in a couple days but there are a an absolute just bunch of update boxes at every store i go to I don't know how much of this stuff they printed. I don't know the math. I haven't checked any of that stuff. But I'll tell you one thing's for certain. They absolutely are sitting on the shelves. I went to a Target today. At least 30 to 40 hanger boxes on the Target shelf. Walmart even has hanger boxes. Which I typically don't see at my Walmarts. But for whatever reason, for update, I am. And there was about maybe 15 to 20 blasters of update at each Walmart and Target that I went to today. So I'll tell you one thing. Um, it looks like update is sitting on the shelves. Which, why is that? Probably because, one, Topps lied and took product out of the set for the blaster format anyways. And same goes for hanger boxes. They took like eight or nine cards out of that product as well. Which, again, I mean, not a good look. I mean, if you're not going to tell cons uh, consumers... Uh, what's in the product before it's sold. That's a pretty bad look, if you ask me. Um, so I'm not surprised that that controversy didn't get a lot uh, louder than it should have because the fact that people ordered product and they didn't actually say what was in the box before they bought it and then they they, they told you after you bought it, that's kind of shady. That, that is pretty shady. I'm kind of surprised that uh, they didn't actually uh, get a lot of flack for that. Um, they did for me, of course, because I, I screamed in a video, I remember, about that. But I do think the checklist for Chrome Update, which is essentially, which it is, the exact same as, as normal Update, different, uh, or I should say the same pictures and everything, the exact same pictures and everything like that. So there's really nothing different, except it's just a Chrome format. Um, I don't know if this set is going to do well. I'll say this, though. I do think the hobby product is going to do well. I do. Um, at the right price. I will say at the right price. Like, for example, I could definitely, definitely, definitely see a hobby store out there charging like 160 to 170 for a hobby box. Now, if that's the case, say, see you later, I'm not buying it. I bought my box for 130 on the top site. Um, actually, it was a birthday gift. It was, I actually didn't even buy it. Uh, I, 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 like I ordered it myself, but I didn't actually pay for it. my mom did for a birthday gift. Um, but either way, um, you know, if your hobby store is selling them for like 160 to 170, I would not. I, I just wouldn't. Um, unless you're really just your heart is set on it. Um, same thing with the jumbo. The jumbos, I will tell you right now. I will tell you this right now from experience of how this worked in the past. Jumbos will go to four hundred dollars. They may have already gone to $400. I don't even know yet. I haven't looked at the prices. Some hobby stores may already be charging $400 a jumbo box, um, which is funny because jumbo boxes, before the autographs were taking out, uh, of course, autographs used to have five per jumbo, were like $450, and now a three-autographed jumbo box is like $400. 
So it really begs the question, like, what are people actually doing pricing these prices? Because it makes literally no sense. Literally makes no sense how these boxes are going up to the price level of the old autograph format. And it's ridiculous. That's why I always say, I always, I will always, always, always say this when it comes to these big heavy hitter sets. Which, yes, Chrome and Chrome Update, I do consider heavy hitter sets. That's why I bought them on Tops.com. You will never find a cheaper box than Tops.com. So anytime in the future, for future reference, that a heavy hitter set comes out, like, for example, upcoming Bowman Draft, I would buy it through Tops.com because your local hobby store is going to charge $30 to $40, maybe even $50 more than what Tops is selling it for. So I bought mine through Tops. I wouldn't buy it if it's like $160 or $170 at a card store. I just wouldn't. A lot of people are like, support your local card shop. Yeah, you can. But at the same time, your local card store needs to realize that you don't want to buy a box that is $30 or $40 higher than where you could have got it beforehand. So, you know, that's my little little gripe on that. But... Um, it, it just depends on the people's situation. But either way, um, I do think the hobby format will sell out. I do. Um, I don't know how quick it'll sell out. That'll be, of course, depending on the area that you're located in and how many people go to your card store. Um, but I do think that the Chrome, Jumbo, and regular hobby formats will sell out pretty quickly. Because I will, I'll talk about this in tomorrow's video. I will go into a little bit of a deeper dive in this in tomorrow's video because that's what I think tomorrow's video is going to be about. I do think Tops intentionally is going to absolutely juice the hobby and jumbo hobby formats and the monster box format which is of course target exclusive I think they're going to leave that high and dry. Of course you do get purples and pinks but they aren't numbered of course. It's just like how a regular blaster box of chrome is. You get those purple and pink parallels or whatever um, in a box of, of Chrome uh, Blaster Box. Same concept here, um, except it's just a Target exclusive. Um, so I firmly do believe the Monster Box is by far going to be the worst product to buy. Um, the only way you should buy that is just if you want the base cards to complete the set. But if you want the best bang for your buck, um, I do think the Hobby format is going to be the best. Um, Jumbo is just too overpriced. I mean, Jumbo, realistically, like I just said, is probably going to be $400. If you didn't buy a Jumbo Box through tops.com uh, and you planned on buying one through your card store um good luck because those jumbo boxes that i believe were like 330 on tops are going to be about 375 to 400 at your card store so i don't think that's a good value at all like i said considering the fact that the old format with the five autograph format were like 450 um so i would not value that as, as good at all i do think the hobby box with the one autograph um for like 150 which i like i said like i paid 134 on tops i do think that's gonna be the better format but again we'll have to wait and see i'm gonna look at the odds i hopefully the odds are on tops.com because i'll look at them and i'll, I'll try to determine what's the best uh, but i can guarantee you that um hobby boxes are gonna be the best bang for your buck so that is it for this video guys that is it for this video we're gonna get to a box or a pack i should say of bowman draft i love bowman draft and hopefully we get some news on Bowman Draft sooner rather than later. That would be nice. That would be nice. Um, Got to wait and see, though. Got to wait and see. Let me see here. I was actually curious. Are there autographs in these? Uh... You know what? I just realized this, guys. I just realized this. I don't think there's autographs in these light boxes. Let me see. I'm looking right quick. Looking on the box. I do not see an autograph. No. Hmm. Okay. Oh, here we go. Never mind. Here we go. Chrome Draft Pick Autograph Black and White Ray, uh, Ray Wave. So you can only get Ray Wave autographs in this product. That's interesting. Okay, so I didn't even know that. Um, one in 194. So how many packs are in here? What, a 10? Yeah, so 10. So one in every 19 boxes contains an autograph, essentially. So quick math, quick math. So, yeah, I'm not going to get an autograph. No shot. Hell will freeze over before I get an autograph from this. Uh, so, either way, let's see here. I got a pirate. That's cool. Mm. We do have a parallel. Look at that. Look at that. There's some color there. Wow, we have some color. Paper color, but color nonetheless. All right, cool. So, we actually pulled a parallel in this. 
And I guess we will, I'll take it off screen. I'm not going to look, I'm not going to look, close my eyes, close my eyes, close my eyes, close my eyes. There we go. Okay. Okay. Close my eyes. and Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So we have Jordan Beck, Ryan Reckley, Trey Lipscomb. We got Robbie Snelling. You are on D. De Los Santos. That's a pirate. I know he is. Pretty cool. Put that for Pirates Fest. And this should be the parallel, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. First, ah, no. Anthony Gutierrez. I mean, sure. I mean, that's a good one. That's definitely a good one. He's a good prospect, so that's not bad. Wish it would have been a first, though. I mean, first obviously would have been nice. It's out of, what is that, 199? Yeah, 199, so that's pretty cool. Again, paper, but still cool nonetheless. So now we get to the chromes. I'll put that to the side, put that in a top loader after this video. Um, Christian Vaquero, Jonathan Mejia, uh, Brandon Barbaria. I totally butchered that guy's name. A Giants Air Apparel. Uh, who is this? Oh, Reggie Crawford. Okay, Reggie Crawford. I know Reggie Crawford is. All right, not a bad one. And we have a, another Jordan Sprinkle first uh, refractor. That could be good. I mean, I don't know anything about him, but that could be good. Let's see here. The last cards we got here, Robert Moore, Yadi Cape, Caden Wallace, Yasser Mercedes, and Jordan Walker. So we haven't really got any of the heavy hitter firsts yet, I don't think. Um, I remember which ones, are, of course, like, you know, like Tamar Johnson and, and things like that are the heavy hitters. We haven't got any of them yet, but we only opened three packs out of, out of 10. So we still have time to actually pull some good stuff. So I do think we'll get something good. I mean, Anthony Gutierrez out of 290 or 199 or whatever it is, or 499. It's, it's out of 499. Okay. I didn't even know that. Um, not bad. Could be better, though. Could be worse. Um, good prospect. He does have an insert in. Uh, pro debut he has one of those farm to fame inserts so they typically only do those for the good players so that tells me he's pretty good and i think he is pretty good so guys let me know what you think and i'll see you guys in the next video